Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut. Today we're going to be going over Android 11 Beta 1. It was released to the public for beta testing today, um, and I've been running the developer previews um, up until this point, so not too much um, has changed. Um, it's basically just an addition on to the developer previews. Um, once they've got all the major bugs worked out and all the stability issues worked out, um, they released the public betas. Um, so this is what um, Beta 1 looks like. Not too much has changed since the um, the developer previews that I was already running. Um, we do have a couple additions to this though. We do have the new power menu which has been implemented. Also we have the smart home device control right, ha right here through the Google Home um, devices. So if you have any of that set up, um, that will appear on the bottom here. Uh, your Google Pay and everything right there. If you have a payment method set up, that will appear right here. Um, and then your power menu on the top here for your emergency button, your power off, your restart. Um, you can also do this for a bug report in the beta. Um, so that is there. You can swipe up to go home. If you're in an app, that will take you home from the menu and the app. Um, so if you're in an app, you can also just hold the button again and it will go back to uh, whatever app you are running. We are supposed to have a new media player up here in the quick toggles that can be enabled in the beta or in the, um, in the developer options menu. I turned it on and I was not able to get it to work. Um, a lot of people said it was quite um, finicky right now, so not able to get that to work. We do also have some new icons if you go into styles and wallpapers um, and go over to styles you can set a custom um, style and we do have some new icon shapes um, right here so there's a couple new ones you can go through and we'll set that um, so you've got some new icon shapes that also does your quick toggles up here as well as your little icons and settings will change along with those so that's pretty nice. Other than that though, I'm not really seeing anything new feature wise or UI wise in beta 1 that was not already in um, the developer previews or that wasn't already released in the developer previews. Um, so that's all the stuff I'm seeing in beta 1. Um, we'll check battery life and stability here soon. Once I have a, t a chance to use this for a while, I'll come back and do a follow up video with the battery life and everything like that. But beta 1 is now released to the public so you can go to the Android beta page and enroll your device if you're running a Pixel 2 or up. Um, it is eligible for the Android 11 beta and you can check this out. Um, if you're worried about bugs or anything like that, I would not uh, do the first beta. Maybe wait a little bit and see how it goes. Um, so if that's something that concerns you, don't run a beta on your device. Um, but if you don't mind a few issues here and there, um, I would say go ahead and install it. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.